down the middle, top side fans versus Triple G fans. So we'll stay around and drive it for It's going to be so exciting. Both these guys are gamers. Yeah. Both guys are super relaxed standing up. I don't see this going to the ground at all. We know that Carlos can serve up those leg kicks. I've seen it happen before. Both seem very relaxed. Absolutely. These two guys, if you ever meet them in person, they have scores on the other side of the pillow. Oh, yeah. Nice Stuart, Stuart Scott reference there. I like it. Yes, I forgot about it. Late, late Stuart Scott. Mm-hmm. Um, UNC Charlotte. Uh, UNC Chapel Hill. Good combination. Good up jabbing the way in. Nice hard right. Just missed the mark. Nice job going down and up. Ooh, good stick. Wow. Big, big right hand. Uh, Carlos, nine years Leo's senior. Okay, Carlos is 32, Leo Perez 23. Leo Perez wearing those green shorts, so you really can't see those leg kicks by, uh, by, by Carlos right now. But those are taking effect, are they not? Absolutely. Good head move by both gentlemen. Both to be very, very aggressive and elusive all at the same time, which is very, very, I mean, it's, it's very uncommon to see that happening at such, such a high level in, in a local region. Yeah, it's, it's like leave a penny, take a penny type thing. They're both going back and forth, just trading whatever punches or they're coming up with the late kicks. You know, like a lot of times they say they use the first round to kind of gauge their opponents, see what their tendencies are, you know, see where everything is landing, try to get some of their tells. And you got to kind of figure out what they're doing right now. They're checking fakes, seeing what they would do, see what the reaction is going to be. Check them all behind. They're coming around with punches. Wow. Yeah, he's going up high. Carlos still breathing through his nose. Very relaxed. I know, just, just look at the face of Carlos. Yep. Good work by both gentlemen. Uh -oh. uh, time called for uh, Leo's. Another issue with the gloves. Yeah. 
my finger has popped out. Yeah, it's got a little blood on them, a little scratchy scratch. Do they stop the clock when it's time? Okay. I don't want to miss a beat. Of course not. <laughs> There'll be a lot of action going on. There we go. Oh. You see how Leo picked that knee up to check that kick? So well rounded, these two guys, you know. Both using that kick. Changing the speed, the pace, and very fun. Good level changes, good variety, lateral movement, stepping out. In and out, yeah. I mean, textbook, textbook, textbook. Nice mid kick. Hit return. Once again, give the bank, take a penny. Nice, good body. Nine two cup shot. Into the man zone. Oh, he said he's okay. Why? <laughs> In Colombia. Yeah. It does not hurt the Colombians. He hit me in the top. But I will make you pay. <laughs> we, we have, just like you said, uh, Joe, I haven't seen anything go to the ground yet. No. Both these guys like to stand. Nice hook. Did Carlos fight in, in uh, Greensboro? Uh, no, yeah. Carlos actually fought on top of the epicenter. That was Fight Lab 49. Uh, that might be like 46, 47, something like that. When have you done about more than half of these shows, I always sort of start blending, blending together. together. Yeah. What was your first Fight Lab, uh, Joe? Boy, it was... Uh, the fight lab blame was supposed to fight in. It got rained out. The last uh, time was the bottom of the episode. Yeah, bottom of the episode. I remember that. I was, Keith Richardson was supposed to fight about one. And yep, and it got canceled because of the rain. Ooh. And I think I sort of came in before that one, probably a couple of shows before that. I started covering a nice shot. Oh. Yeah. Landing, nice. I think Charlie smells blood. Yeah. And me to the body as they go to the ground. There's 10 seconds remains in this first. Rubber guard right there. You see that, that rubber guard is to keep him trapped, keep him moving. What a smart move. Absolutely. That is, it's important. And make sure you keep those chickens. Safety first here at MMA Fight Week. Indeed. MMAFightWeek.com. Oh, you beat me to it. <laughs> beat me to it. Oh, nice shot for the body. Once again, good variety, man. Yeah, absolutely. Kick for you, kick for me. Yeah. It's almost like a buffet of kicks and punches and. Oh, oh nice head kick. kick. They got a oh. smile out of Vida Leah Leo Perez. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Right. Great technicians when it comes to striking. Yes, yeah. Two different disciplines, more of a Muay Thai for Charlie Davis, more of a traditional boxing for Leo. But it does not stray away that they mix it with every strike that they do. And, and I don't know what it is. And we, we, we've seen it as they come up, uh, Joe. They've been even good amateurs when they're coming up to me. Absolutely. Uh, they're even good amateurs. Nice, well. Both these guys are trading back and forth. Who did you have the first round? Ooh, boy. <laughs> I have to get the Beavis on that one. Even though Leah scored that takedown, all he did was hold it. Charlie's got that rubber guard elbow to the head. Another. Maybe, maybe a little more aggressive. Oh. Him, a little more standing up. But right now, I. Hats down to a knee on this round unless something drastic changes. Yeah. Definitely at least halfway through this uh, second round, I, I got Leo. It's going to give some nice combinations. Nice 
shit side kick. He's starting to change it up. He's starting to get into his groove now. I gotta say this about uh, Carlos. His, his dreadlocks there. Still pretty well maintained. He's got like the big juicy braids. Yeah. I don't know if that's a uh, thing to hold him intact. That's a uh, better way to go than a small one. Oh, we'll, we'll see how the fight goes on with his uh, dreadlocks there. No, absolutely. That's the only way to keep it in. He, walked, he came into the weigh-ins this morning and somebody asked who's that with the Jesus locks. Jesus locks. <laughs> Put that down the Urban Dictionary. Oh, that's All right, so right to the spleen. Right to the spleen, left to the liver. Good head kick. Wow. Ooh. Nice combination. The child did a great job of covering up. Yeah. Kids. Coaches gather your kids around the uh, computer screen. This is this is almost like textbook back and yeah. forth in the fighters here. You know, you can't see it too much on Leo's left left leg, his left hamstring on the outside there. That is red. You can't see it right now, but right there. Nice covered up. Yep. A little covered up by his shorts. But you don't, you don't, you don't think those leg kicks are much, but until you all of a sudden you see a huge oh. red red. He's gonna have a bruise on that oh, yeah. outside leg. Whenever he tries to stand up tomorrow morning, <laughs> and falls on the right. ground. There it is again. Yeah. He's hitting the same spot. He goes to the inside. Leo not wearing the Valley Tito's, so we can't see what he's how much damage he's taken. Inside of Charles' red uh, legs also see red. That. Nice job, just peppering those punches in there. Good variety. Once again, every punch doesn't need to be a kill shot. Mm -hmm. But it helps. Yeah. <laughs> of course, those punches add up. Ultimately, later on in the round, you do enough damage. This is the first big exhale that I've seen from Leo Perez, Will. Carlos Vivas, I, I still, I mean, he's got great stamina. Oh, they both do. Don't let the three even have a record for you. Carlos has had plenty of more top hats. Nice knee for face. You see that plum right there grabbing behind both heads, having the elbow into the chest, covering a plum, a plum time. Keeps the control in. You watch out for a knee or kick to the head. Ten seconds remain in the second round. Ooh, another nice shot with the right. I think some of his losses, yeah. of course, have been uh, by a knockout, too. Went up in the axe, uh, knockout by Lawrence Dennis. Oh, there it is again. Both those guys, both of them are happy to have this battle, this war. And it's been a real great stand-up war the whole time. I think you called that early on, Joe. You saw that one takedown towards the end, and that was it. Towards the end of that one round. Yeah. It's been absolutely a uh, stand up and a good stand up the same entire time. Entertaining, to say the least. Good, equal, solid fighters. They're giving it their all, that's for sure. These guys doing an incredible job. Charlie Davis seems to be a little bit lighter on his feet, still being very, very mobile. But it looks like Leo is controlling a little bit more of the third round, so I don't know if that's. He's definitely pushing the pace starting off, but that's kind of been the MO of the whole fight. Leo starts being the aggressor, Charlie gets his opportunity, and then he becomes the aggressor. Up high again. I said. Main whips around a, a stream of sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, another nice shot by Leo. That, that was almost like a, a dog water lawn thing going around. Yeah. <laughs> there it is again. And I just got, got, go. I got, got sprayed by the sprinkler. Nice jab. 
Both these guys are incredible athletes and incredible strikers. This is, this is what nice the lead hook. right here. Good hook up. again. That hook finds this mark every time. And that cross finds it. Every, every time I think it's going one way, it's going another way. You know, absolutely. It's, there's no way to tell it. Yeah. You know, it's make one heck of a uh, of a main event. Good slip. As an amateur, Leo Danger Perez actually won two of his featherweight championship belts by the rear naked choke. So he can do the submission. Oh, absolutely. Can do it. Will do it tonight. Oh, no. I'm sort of glad it didn't come with it. This has been thoroughly entertaining this whole time. Like I said before, I hate to cut you off there, Chad. You cut me off. I, I, I apologize. <laughs> if you look here, once again, remember how Leo was being the aggressor in the first half of the, yeah. fight, uh, first half of the round? And once again, now, now Charlie has become yeah. the aggressor. It is going to be terribly hard yeah. to judge this fight. Good thing we don't have to. Amen to that. We're going to walk out here nice and safely with nobody upset with us. <laughs> you get a plate of chicken wings. I do get one a plate of chicken wings. One minute remains. One minute. That's crowd cheering. I'm yeah, corn, back on. Cornbread gets this, uh, this crowd riled up one last time. It's been at a pretty good pace. It's not been hit slow down as the referee tries to get out of the way. 30 seconds away, 30 seconds. Oh, nice. That. Oh, he tried. Man. He tried the reverse, uh, what is it, reverse, reverse kick. Yep. Try to catch it. Good. Nice kick on the right there. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a decision. Charlotte, first, give both these guys a big round of applause. This fight goes to the judges' scorecards, and we have a split decision. And Drew was right. Yeah. Beginner's luck. Of course. <laughs> Judge Juan scores this bout 30 27 Perez. Really? Judge Two scores this bout 29 28 Vivas. And Judge Three scores this bout. 30-27 for your winner by split decision. Out of the blue corner, yeah. Leo Danger Perez. That, that one was hard to score. I, I actually think that was tough. To score. 